Well, good morning. Today is Monday, September 9th, and we are back to summer weather. <laughs> it is 75 degrees right now, which is beautiful. As you could see, Jim and I got back from our walk. I actually, I didn't walk my whole mile because Jim and I have lots to do today. Lots and lots and lots to do today. But I thought I'd take a hot minute here and um, share my walk with you. I walked 0.69. I was trying to get at least three quarters of a mile in, but I... I don't know, you know, just taking that week or two off really made a difference in my stamina. <laughs> Let me tell you, because I was tired, and so I didn't want to overdo it. But we have to go to the bank, and we have to go to the post office, and we have to go to the um, car for the car insurance. Um, and we got lots to talk about, but we'll talk about that when I'm sitting on the back deck. Because right now I just want to get the birthdays and the anniversaries in, and then I can get on with my day, and then we'll talk in a little bit. But today is Chris over at Trials of a Long Hair Girl. Today is Chris's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Chris. Happy birthday to you. Cha -cha -cha. It's also Don Morrison's birthday, so Don. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dawn. Happy birthday to you. Cha -cha -cha. Margaret Carlson. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Margaret. Happy birthday to you. Cha -cha -cha. And Joan over at Rise and Shine Suburban Homesteading. Today is Joan's birthday. So, Joni. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Joni. Happy birthday to you. Cha -cha -cha. Well, I hope all four of you have a great, great birthday. But we have lots of anniversaries today, too, because today is Kim and Geronimo's anniversary. But Kim and Geronimo, I don't know how many years. I know you probably told me, and I forgot to write it down. Nonetheless, it's still your anniversary. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy, 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 happy anniversary, happy, 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 happy anniversary. Well, I hope you have a great anniversary, but it's also Sue and Ken B's anniversary. That I don't know how many years for them either, but still their anniversary. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy, 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 happy anniversary, happy, 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 happy anniversary. Michelle and Sean, you guessed it, I don't know how many years, but still. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy, 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 happy anniversary, happy, 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 happy anniversary. Well, hope you have a great anniversary, but Stanley and Debbie Decker told me that this is their 35th anniversary, 35 years, so Stanley and Debbie... Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy, 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 happy anniversary, happy, 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 happy anniversary. Well, I hope you have a great, great anniversary today. Um, so that's what, eight people having anniversaries and four people having birthdays. I got back from my walk and miraculously I have a vase here for my plant that's already dead. I got to throw it away, but somebody brought me a vase which is not the original vase that I had. See, there it is there. It's a little big. You can see my plant is dead. Here's my water. Drinking my water. Um, it was nice of them, whoever it was. It was very thoughtful. But uh, well, I could sit out in the swing all day. It's so nice but I got so much running to do. I got things I got to do. We got lots to talk about. We'll talk about that when I'm on the back deck. Our Lions won yesterday. Yay! I wasn't watching them, but I knew how they were. I always knew when they were doing good, doing well. That's the correct English, doing well. Because uh, my neighbor next door has um, a big party every time there's a lion. Lions in, I'm trying to think what college. I forget what college. I know that Jason over here went to Nebraska, University of Nebraska, so he's always got all of his Nebraska flags out. But... I think it's the Michigan game, although I know that they didn't go to Michigan, but I think it's the... But anyway, the Lions, they have a big party every every game day, and whether it's home or away. And so every time the Lions did well, they would cheer, and so I would know, oh, we did, must have done something good. <laughs> so um, then Jim came in. I said, how'd they do? And he says, well, I didn't think they were going to win. They won it in overtime. Just They squeaked it out. 
doesn't matter. Still looks like a win in the book, so that's all that really matters. Um, I'm looking forward to my new show starting this month. I think my crime scene kitchen's supposed to be starting pretty soon, too. I love that with Joel McRae. Um, I love that. With uh, Curtis Stone is one of the people, and I forget who the other one is. She's a bakery chef. She doesn't impress me very much so that. I don't remember her name. But I, I love Crime Scene. If, it, if you've never seen it, has anybody ever watched it? Cra I know Joan does. I know Joan watches that. And um, my master chef, I'm hoping that Rebecca, and I forget what the young girl's name is. I hope they don't make it to the final two. I mean, they're very good cooks or chefs or whatever you want to say. They're very good. But they're they're. They're too cocky. They're too cocky. And I was disappointed. Spoiler alert. I was disappointed that Warren went home. I knew he would never make it to the end. But I was kind of sad. Because he's got such a nice personality. I know it's not based on personality. But I really liked him. And then uh, Jim and I love to watch the 1% Club. We like to see how far we can get with it. We even like keep our $1,000 and see if we can keep it all the way to the end. Spoiler alert. We never can. <laughs> but... Um, we do like that. And then The Wall with Rob Lowe. We like that one, too. So I like things that challenge my mind. Like I said, I play the game Stop. I very, very, very rarely win. But I like it because it keeps my mar my mind sharp. And that's at this my age, that's all I'm really worried about is keeping my mind sharp. So um, I have to go. Oh, and that's another thing. i got to go to Lowe's to get some bird food. Because in the summer, I just feed them suet. Because, hello. Um... Well, you walk way faster than I do. <laughs> Isn't that nice though? It's beautiful. She's almost like running. She's walking so fast. Um, okay. We lost it. See how easily it's squirrel. And it wasn't even a squirrel. Oh. Sometimes you just gotta wait. I'm sorry. You have to be patient with me, especially when I'm getting older. But um, I don't put the I don't feed them bird seed in the summer because they spill the seed all over the place and then it turns into grass seed. If I wanted it to be grass seed, it wouldn't work. So uh, in the winter, I don't really care that much, or in the fall too much. I think we're gonna wait till the spring to finish doing the front of the house so that we can enjoy it a little bit more and then I can save a little bit of money because. Uh, we decided we're not getting a tree. We're, now we're just deciding on whether a bush or a bunch of perennials. We're still tossing that around. But we have to get that. But anyway, I was sitting uh, in the back room watching my big brother. And uh, and it got dark. The, our sun sets uh, at 7.55. And I had left the bird feeder that uh, Edie over at Edie's Adventures have given me on my desk. And... Um, I'm just sitting there, and the room gets dark because I watch TV in the dark. I don't put the light on unless I'm reading, and I just go from the TV light. And then all of a sudden, the bird feeder lit up, <laughs> and it was my nightlight for the rest of the night until I went to bed. Then I turned off because there's a little switch on there that can turn it on and off with the solar power. But I thought that was so neat. So um, I'll share a picture of my bird feeder sitting on my desk from last night, and then I got to get in the house and get a moving. And when we're on the back deck, we'll talk a little bit more. Talk to you soon. Okay, first stop is Lowe's to get my bird feeder, some food, and get on with some other errands that we have to run today. So let's get a cart first and then be on our way. Okay, we got three boxes of soot, three bags, because it's easier to grab than one big bag of bird food and some bags for the leaves and it came to 7634. Okay next stop the bank to get some money switched around. All right, let's see how we're going to do with their insurance at this place. Okay, that was a wash. Wouldn't you agree, Jim? Yep. We could save. The good price for the insurance was good for the car, but then once we got the house insurance, and the house insurance was way high, so the most we could save for the whole year is like $125. I'd like who we're with. I'll just pay the $125 extra. Now we're on our way to Kroger's. 
Well, we're back from all our running around and I didn't eat my breakfast until 3.30. It's not breakfast at 3.30. Probably linear. <laughs> it's not even lunch. It's not even dinner. But we're going to sit outside now because it's gorgeous. And we're going to read this new book that I just told you I was going to read. The Holdout by Graham Moore. And just as a recap, it's uh, basically about somebody that uh, was arrested for... Um, trying to think what it was arrested for oh so somebody vanishes and somebody's arrested and they go to trial and the prosecution thinks it's a slam dunk but somebody on the trial and the jury fear, feels that he's um, not guilty and how everybody's life changes afterwards so we're going to read that um, David's going to come over after he gets off of work because he's working yet again to help me put my another one of my um they're called shepherd's hooks. Jim tried to do it, but the ground is so hard he can't get it in. So I can hang my new bird feeder that I got from uh, Edie over at Edie's Adventures. So I'm going to fill that up tonight. I went and got some bird food at um, Lowe's. So I have it all set to go as soon as David gets here. And if you could tell by my thumbnail, I did rejoin Weight Watchers. I wanted to thank Diana Antu once again because she sent me a very generous gift. And with that gift, I paid for my um, Weight Watchers for the next 10 months. <laughs> so I have no excuses. It's already paid for for 10 months. So I'm, I'll be on it for the next 10 months. So thank you, Diana. Put that to, to good use. And um, Nancy sent me a nice, generous amount of money, too. And with that, I bought another. I put it towards a good pair of walking shoes. So I bought some new walking shoes, too. So I'm going to start walking again. So, um... I have decided to, I'm already an accountability partner with Lori, one of my YouTube subscribers. We um, text each other each day just with our activity levels. She's been doing way better than me. <laughs> she, she's been very dedicated. I kind of felt like a slacker, not really much of a partner. But anyway, I'm back. I'm going to be a partner now. And then uh, I share my weight with Terry Weeks and um, Sparkling Susan and Sue Slims Down. We all have a different weigh-in day, but we send each other our things. And now I have a new accountability Weight Watcher partner, Edie, over at Edie's Adventures. Uh, we're going to share our weight with each other on our weigh-in days. I think hers is on Tuesdays. Mine is on Mondays. I already sent her my, my weight. And then we're going to, at the end of the day, on Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, we're going to see how accountable we are to each other <laughs> as far as staying on plan. We're not going to do it every day. We might even lower the expectations of that. But I think for the first month, at least, we should do three days a week just to uh, keep us in check. So, um, but anyway, we'll, we'll go to the weight. Um, I weighed myself this morning, and let me show you how I did. I lost 2.8. So I have a total of 40.2. So back I'm, I'm back in the 40s again. So I'm going to work my way to the 50s this time. I uh, When I rejoined Weight Watchers, I don't like the new app. I'll be honest with you. I don't like the new app. I only did the um, online because um, the uh, meetings, I don't like the leader that's convenient for me. The times I would go on is convenient for me. Um, I don't find her very inspirational. I know they're not called leaders. They're called guides or something. Uh, she just, it, it just, it was just more or less like always food finds, not so much support. I just, I mean, if that's what you like, that's what you like, I guess. But it was just my one that I had, Sue, that I really miss her. She was like, she shared food finds, but it wasn't all about food. It was, you know, how your week was, your psychological things, and it's just very supportive. So I just decided just to do the online one. But I don't like the app. It's, I don't find it, maybe it's just me. I don't find it easy to use. Um, I don't like the fact that it doesn't show my total weight loss from the beginning. What it did was when I weighed on July 8th, that's another thing I was going to talk about. When I weighed on July 8th, the lo I lost from July 8th until rejoining this morning um, 0.8. <laughs> that's what I lost for the whole summer, 0.8. Um, happy with that I really am because I mean I could have gained very easily I know I, my goal was to lose a pound a week and I had weeks that I did really well but I had weeks that I did really poorly but I didn't hold myself accountable I didn't track my food 
uh, on an app or write it down. I just kind of had it in my mind, which is why I only lost 0 0.8. But I'm determined now to s stick with this now. And especially since I've got 10 months paid for, I'm going to definitely um, stick with it for 10 months and, and get back on track. So I don't don't I guess this is better because it'll show me how I've done since I rejoined and then I can always in the back of my mind know how much I lost total but I don't know I, I just don't like it and then I find it hard to find like I'm going to go to lunch with my the elusive Kathy on Thursday and so I know we're going to probably go to uh, Leo's Coney Island and so I was trying to find a Coney, Coney Island restaurant in the app there's not one not one of the any of the like we have a national coney island we have a jillian's coney coney island we have a leo's coney island um and then i even looked at different apps to see about just getting a bowl of chili and i, I couldn't even find anything for that it was i i i don't like the app I, I guess i can just put it that way i don't like the app but i do like the structure of the program probably makes no sense but you know so I know it's no big surprise. I think you all knew I was going to be rejoining. <laughs> if, if anything, I'm predictable. I think I'm very predictable. So I just, um, I, I can live with the, the small little things that I don't like about the app. I did track my breakfast. I'll show you my breakfast, or my dinner, as, as we call it. And then we're having for dinner, I'm going to have chicken and mashed potatoes and corn on the cob. And then uh, just get back to getting back to, to, to uh, doing my Weight Watchers because it worked for me before. I know it'll work for me this time and it's just the structure that I need at this point. My sister was trying to get me to join TOPS which I've gone to in the past. Um, I never found that there was much structure for me in that. It was more or less like I was this summer being on my own and we saw that point eight. <laughs> it's like I'm not knocking it but it's not like Nothing to write home about, as they say. It was just like, yeah, it was just okay. Just okay. But, so now my videos, I'm not going to show you my food every day because I think that was one of the reasons that I, I got annoyed is I just felt chained to it. So every once in a while I'll show you my food because I don't like putting my videos up late at night anymore. I kind of like getting them done, like in the afternoon, getting them up before dinner. So... Some days you'll see my dinner, some days you won't, but I'll always tell you what I'm eating. And uh, if I don't show you my food the next day, I'll show you my tracker to show you how I did. Because uh, I have to hold myself accountable again. I just really do. So I'm going to show you my breakfast, and then I'll show you my dinner. And, uh, and just give myself some grace and just know that I can do better than I've done in the past. And I'm going to do really well on this program again because I've done it before. I've proven to myself. So we're at uh, 40.2 pounds total loss right now. So uh, let's work our way to 50. How's that sound? So let me show you what I had to eat. And in the meantime, let's talk again tomorrow. Hopefully I see you then. Breakfast, we're gonna have um, some berries, a piece of wheat, uh, oak wheat toast for three points, a tablespoon of Jif peanut butter for three points, two eggs for zero, a banana for zero, tea and water. So it is a six point breakfast. Okay, here's my 14 point dinner, four points for my potatoes, four points for my roll, zero for my uh, chicken, zero for my corn, my tea, and six points for a tablespoon of regular butter. So it's 14 points.